Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So, today I just went to the art store uh, and I got myself some new art supplies, some of which I haven't ever used before. So, I'm going to be showing you guys some of those things today. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys kind of like what kind of stuff I use and maybe you guys could buy that stuff if you're interested in making artworks then maybe you could try some of the stuff that I'll show you guys today but uh, I just wanted to show you guys some new art supply stuff that I got today so without any further ado here's kind of a look through of these art supplies I guess I hope you enjoy okay so real quick before we look through I just want to show you this is the bag that has all the stuff in it all of my stuff so I put this back down on the table and now let's look through the stuff. Okay, I shouldn't make this so like dramatic because like I already know what's in here, but you guys don't, so just to make it more interesting. I'm going to be overly dramatic. Alright guys, so here it is. It's a really, really big wrinkly bag. Uh, it's so big I kind of can't really fit it on my desk. So real quick, I'm just going to take all the stuff out of it so I can get this big bag off my desk. And uh, yeah, let's do this. So here is all the stuff that I bought. It all looks so professional. Anyways, so um, this, it doesn't look like too much, but I'm kind of going to show you. It, it It's more than it looks like. I'm not going to go like too in depth because I don't want this video to be too long, but I'm kind of going to show you all like most of the stuff about the things that I bought so you will know if you want to buy it or not for yourself. So let's just start here with this um, kneaded eraser. It's kind of like it's just like an, or an ordinary eraser but like it it's kind of like clay i feel like it's kind of like clay um so i'm gonna unpackage it real quick and show you guys kind of what it looks like uh it pretty much just works like a normal eraser but i'm gonna unpackage it right now Okay, it was a lot harder to unwrap that than I thought it would be, but here is the eraser. Uh, it, it's a pretty big eraser, which I like, and this is the part that I said looks kind of like clay. You can pull it apart. Um, so right now it's just shaped like a square, but dang, gotta pull it apart. Yeah, you got you can pull it apart into like little pieces, uh, so you can kind of like section it off. 
um, for like that whole big square that it was initially is too big for just one eraser so like you could just pull off this part and just use this and then you can have like these other parts to use so yeah it's just it's like a good quality eraser uh i really like these i have a few of them but yeah this is like a kind of bigger one than normal so i can use more of it uh so it'll last me a, a little longer so yeah if you're interested in these i'll try to link as much of this stuff as i can in the description down below but if you're interested in a kneaded eraser uh yeah you can probably go get yourself one they're pretty cheap um so yeah this is a kneaded eraser all right so next up are these things they're called copic multi-liners i don't know if you can see it says copic multi-liner there these are copic multi-liners they're um kind of like from the same brand as these right here these are called copic markers uh these are for like coloring and stuff though but these are just used for like inking your drawings um i've actually never had these so these are brand new for me um and i got a bunch of different sizes of them this is a 0.5 size so yeah here are just a bunch of the different sizes um and uh we are, i also got a brush one uh, you can use it for more um like you can change your lines a little more with this one so if i open it you can see it's kind of like a brush there at the tip you can uh, make some more interesting lines with that so yeah i i've never used these as i've said as i said so i'm pretty excited to start using these uh they seem pretty professional so yeah those are the Kovic multi-liners and then guys here are some micron pens i've had micron pens for like a year now or something um i really like micron pens um so i i don't know if i'm gonna like the, these uh multi-liner thingies more than micron pens uh yeah it that, that would be cool to see um which one i like more but for years i've for like a year i've used these micron pens they're really good quality and again just like these multi-liners had a brush these micron pen this package of micron pens has a brush one inside of it um so yeah I, let's open this up all right so here are the micron pens so with micron pens they're actually very similar to these Kovic multi-liners uh they have different sizes uh this is a 0.1 a really small one and uh so yeah all right guys so those are the micron pens i think you get the idea they're all different sizes and then these two on the end are brush pens so uh the reason i got these micron pens because i already had micron pens but the reason i got these ones were because a because i had brush pens and b because my old micron pens are running out of ink but let's move on to the big boys these are like the sketch pad thingy mabobs so at the store i actually got a good deal it was buy one get one free so i actually got two of them so that's nice so altogether it's 40 pages each of these uh, sketch pads has 20 pages so i'm just gonna put this one to the side because they're both the exact exact same thing so here is the sketch pad it's made in italy which automatically means it's really fancy and the paper is actually like a really good quality so the paper is like really stiff and like just really high quality so it actually won't blend so if i like paint on this or something it won't blend through onto the other page or at least it won't blend a lot so yeah it's really good quality uh so you can use every single page because the pages as i said they don't blend so i'm pretty excited to use these uh, sketchbooks and i have two of them so yeah these seem pretty good quality but now real quick i'm going to test some of these Copic multi-liners and these micron pens on the paper all right so uh, i had to rip this page out of the notebook because it's so big i couldn't actually fit it on my desk but just like seeing it here by itself it feels like really quality so i think it was worth what i paid for it and uh so yeah let's test some of these uh, markers so first of all i'm kind of gonna do like a side by side of uh, one of these versus a uh, micron pen because as i said earlier on i'm kind of curious about which one i like more the micron pens or the Kovic multi-liners so i'm just going to put some stuff down here with the Kovic multi-liner some random lines and stuff and cross hatching and whatever i don't really know what i'm doing 
Uh, it does feel pretty smooth. It feels quality. Uh, so that's nice. Um, and uh, it goes down on the paper pretty nice. Uh, let me draw my favorite character, Spider-Man, real quick. just a rough little thing but it does feel really nice and it goes down on the paper pretty well that felt really good it was a nice experience um, it does rival the um, micron pens but yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see these because these are brand new so they're probably gonna feel a little nicer than my older ones uh, kind of do the same kind of stuff oh hold up something I'm realizing like real quick the micron or the yeah, the Micron Pen feels kind of scratchier than the uh, Kovic uh, Multiliner. It's kind of like the same experience, pretty much. Uh, but real quick, I'm gonna draw Spider-Man's face again. choose the winner with the brush pens because that's really what I'm curious to see. So first I'm going to look at the uh, Copic Multiliner brush pens. Alright, so this one feels nice. Um, I can really like change the lines. And it feels feels good, it feels quality. Let's check out both of the Micron brush pens. Here's the first brush pen. This is kind of like the shorter one. Uh, hold up, that's not a brush pen. That's just a, that's just a regular pen. It's just a pen, it doesn't really have like a brush. But this one is actually like a legit brush, uh, brush pen. So maybe this one's gonna help. Oh, oh, oh yeah. This is 100% <laughs> way better than the, the, what do you call it? My, the Copic Multiliner brush. This is like an actual brush. That is so satisfying. So yeah, that's my thoughts on both of these pens. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that. Maybe you guys saw something that you want to um, buy for yourself if you are interested in getting better at art and getting better uh, art supplies. Uh, and I got all these things at a Blick art store. Um, so if you want to look at any one of those stores, um, then you can do that. But if you want to buy any of this stuff online, as I said, I'll try to put as much as I can in the link. Uh, or as much links as I can in the description down below. But without any further ado, let's go on to an outro. Alright, so there you have it guys. That's the stuff I bought, and if you want to buy it yourself, as I said, link in the description down below, or you can go to your local Blick store. Um, and so yeah, at, in that little thing I was doing between the uh, Microns and the Copic Multiliners, I was trying to be as non-biased as I could, because you know, I really wanted them to, I, I wanted to give like a fair fight between both of them i guess i hope you guys did enjoy that and maybe you found some stuff that you want to get for yourself but that was all for today's video everybody and uh, if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it and also subscribe to support your boy but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye for the rugged for the rugged for the rugged for the rugged Been a little too nice to y'all Now I got a price for y'all Snake eyes on dice for y'all Shoulders on ice for y'all